For this week's update, I wanted to do a video because there's some very important things I need to talk about. I'm going to briefly mention the uh, Chapter 9 deadline and then talk about the remainder of the year and the deadlines you are going to have to make as we start to wrap up our learning in the book and getting into the review and ready for May 17th exam. Let's talk about the Chapter 9 deadline. Um, as it stands right now, the Chapter 9 testing deadline is set for March 2nd to have both your multiple choice and free response tests done by. Uh, unfortunately, this week, it's a little different with what's going on. I am actually going to be unavailable on Tuesday. I'm doing the ACT proctoring and uh, I'm not going to be available for testing. So the testing will be um, not available on Tuesday. I'm going to have to be out of the building on Friday, so testing again is not available. Because of this, I will extend the deadline for two more days since I'm gone those two. If you look at the month of March, uh, that Chapter 9 extension for the deadline, I then will move to March 6, which is a Tuesday. Again, both exams must be done by then, otherwise your Chapter 9 work will get a zero. I know this extended deadline is going to be nice for some of you, but I really want you to be cautious with getting too far behind. Um, so even though if you look at the deadline, which is on the 6th for this exam, uh, you're going to notice the on-pace material that all of the Chapter 10 learning technically would have been done by this deadline. So make sure you don't get too far behind. Now the next slide, it's really important. We're going to talk about the rest of the year and what happens when we wrap up the textbook and get ready for the review. I am going to have uh, more stringent deadlines with the material within the review section. So let's talk about that. So as we start to finish up Chapter 9 in this next week's window, we have three more chapters left, 10, 11, and 12. And let's just take a look at the pacing for that. Uh, the Chapter 10 actual on-pace uh, test date is set for March 8th. Um, there is only a one-day test for this, which is nice. Um, and then you actually notice you have an off day, so March 9th. So if you've been behind pace a little bit, you do have a, a, just a free day to get caught up. Um, the deadline for this exam is going to be the following week on March 15th, and that's when Chapter 10 must be done. Following that, um, the due date uh, for the Chapter 11 test, which again is just a one-day test, is going to be March 21st. I highly encourage you to get Chapter 11 done before spring break. Um, if you can, that would be a great feeling for you so you don't have to worry about too much work because you're going to notice, again, we have another free day um, on March 22nd, no school, and then nothing assigned for spring break. If you are behind before bring, spring break starts, I highly recommend that you uh, discipline yourself and you get your work done during spring break. Uh, when we hit April into May, the material is going to go fast. A lot of you have other AP exams. There's not going to be a lot of time to get behind pace. Uh, so that Chapter 11 test, if you don't get it done before spring break, is due for its deadline on April 4th, that Wednesday following spring break. Plan accordingly if you're going to be gone on any vacations too. Um, then the uh, due date for the last chapter test is again as a one-day test is going to be Thursday, April 12th. I'll give you another week extension. So the deadline is on Thursday, April 19th. You're going to notice if you are an on-pace type of person, you have an entire week with nothing scheduled. This is a great time again to just kind of rest and revive or you can continue on with the material. This, this week here that nothing is scheduled to is a nice thing to keep in mind if you're feeling behind pace right now and you don't have time to get um, a whole week of material done and get back on pace, you do have this week after, a few weeks after the spring break to get caught up before we start our official review. So think about how you learn, how you need to get caught up, and maybe how you can use uh, some of these um, upcoming off days. You know, there's a handful of them. We have one here on the 9th, the 22nd, and again, this entire week. Unless you are behind pace, then I'm sure you'll use those days. Now, I need to talk about how the three and a half week of review is going to work. Um, you are not going to have an entire week to get caught up on material. What you're going to see in this last half is I have a very precise scheduled 18-day review for, to, to prepare you for this exam. It's the review I've done when I had taught my brick and mortar classes, and I think the pacing for this is really spot on. Now, I can understand, especially in this window here, a lot of you are going to have other AP exams, so I'm not going to require the material to be done the next day, but I'm not going to give you again that week window. Here's how it's going to work. 
In our 18-day review, we first start off with day one, two, and three of doing a diagnostic exam to see where you are. So to be on pace, it's scheduled that on Friday, April 20th, you're going to do a multiple choice diagnostic exam. Uh, this is exactly what you could assume your test might be like. You're going to have 40 multiple choice questions, and I'm going to encourage you to give yourself um, 90 minutes to take this. Try it without your notes. Pretend it's the real test. It doesn't matter what your score is. Try it and see how you do. Now, if you look at the Chapter 12 deadline, it was the day before, so there's no excuses that this should not be done. This assessment here, the Day 1 assessment, must be done by the time you come to school on Monday. So I, when I get to school on Monday, I'm going to actually grade you on participation for this. If you've done it and it's complete, you're going to get the complete points for the day. Every single day in this review is worth participation points, and you will get a grade in the gradebook for all 18 assignments. It will go in the formative category, which is the 20%, so it can make a difference. It's not going to break the bank and completely change your grade, but I'm going to record if you meet the deadlines for this. So again, day one's deadline, and I will remind you when we get there, is going to be at basically 7 a.m. on the Monday morning. Now, day two is going to be doing the diagnostic of the free response. I have six free, free response questions for you to do. I want you to actually do the free response, try those in the 90-minute time limit, and see how you do. Following that, day three is analyzing the results. I have an analysis set up on Schoology where you're going to go through and you're going to analyze how you did on the multiple choice, the free response, and you're going to see which learning objectives you know and you don't know. Day two and day three material must be done by the end of day Friday on the uh, 27th of April. That is by uh, 2.45 at the end of the school day. So for day two and three, I'm giving you a few days of wiggle room to get that done. Now, if you look at the various uh, elements here, it's going to talk about the topics. Remember, our learning was four different topics. Topic one was about statistics. Um, and that was chapters one through three. You're going to see that topic one is covered here on day four, five, and six. And that's it for topic one. So the next chunk of material, which is these three days of learnings in four, five, and six for topic one, is going to have a deadline of this following Monday. So if you're behind pace a little bit, that's okay if you're not on there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On that weekend, get caught up and get things done. Monday morning, I'm going to check the participation for those three assignments and give you a formative grade accordingly. Now as we jump into May, as the test is getting closer for uh, May 17th, our next topic comes up. Topic two, which was chapter four, which was designing a study. If you take a look at that, you're going to see chapter four is actually going to be covered in three days of material. The deadline for this is going to be Friday at the end of the day to make sure that material is done. So again, you're going to have about a two-day wiggle room to meet the deadline of reviewing your chapter four materials. And when I say review, I can tell you what to expect. Uh, every single review day is going to be very similar. I have some multiple choice topics for you to try, and then I have a free response for you to try. So really, every review day should not take you more than a half an hour, if that, to prepare and get ready to be taking your exam on May 17th. Now, topic three is going to be probability, and if you remember, probability was chapters five, six, and seven. You're going to notice that uh, the probability is actually broken up into um, five different days on here. And this is basically by response of students in the past. The one topic they felt like they needed more polishing up on was the probability. So even though it's only three chapters, I do have enough work to expand over five days. So what we're going to do for deadlines for that is the material that is scheduled, again, for Thursday and Friday, a very similar pattern. That deadline for that will be the following Monday morning. I will see if you have these done and give you participation accordingly. Uh, the next three days, which we're going to be hitting May, um, it looks like uh, 7th, 8th, and 9, which is day 12, 13, and 14 on probability. Uh, the deadline for these is going to be Friday by 2.45. So a very similar pattern in how I'm going to work this. 
Now, then when we get towards the end here on day 15 and 16 for that week, we are going to switch gears and wrap up into inference testing. Now, I don't spend as much time reviewing inference testing because this is material that is very fresh in your mind. But as you would expect, these two days of material will be due on that following Monday at um, 7 a.m. And then lastly, we have two more days on inference material. Um, and I will have the deadline for that being uh, the morning of your test, which is the 17th. One thing I did add here because there was a request is practicing which inference procedure uh, a certain free response should be. Students said they thought that uh, practicing that would be good. So this last day is a really nice topic on that one where you, I just give you example upon example and you decide if you should do a confidence interval, a hypothesis test, and which one. I hope and I feel like you will find day 18's review a nice way to wrap it up and get ready for your big exam, which is going to be on Thursday, uh, May 17th at noon in the ESC building. Folks, let me know if you have any questions about this, but do know as we get closer to this final review, I will give you weekly updates. We'll talk more in detail about the deadlines. I just want you to get the big picture so you understand how you need to kind of start motivating yourself if you are far behind so you don't get too far behind um, and you can really meet these deadlines and prepare for the exam and feel comfortable with the material. Um, have a good week. Let me know how I can help you out. And thanks for listening to the video.